Hello everyone, so we're continuing on now with uh, body systems topic and uh, today we're going to look at a food test um, and that is for a colour change involving vitamin C and we're also going to be describing the importance of minerals and vitamins uh, namely iron and calcium which are two minerals and vitamin C and vitamin D um, today will be a successful lesson if we're able to identify which uh, fruit samples or fruit juice samples have the most vitamin C after today's experiment. So the test for vitamin C that we're going to be looking at today is going to involve a blue inky liquid known as DC pip which will change from blue to colourless or from blue to the colour of the actual juice we are testing um, if vitamin C is present. The more vitamin C the faster this change takes place. So our method is to add two centimeters cubed of this DC pip into four different test tubes. We're going to add ascorbic acid one drop at a time, which is pure vitamin C, um, and we will swirl it after each drop. We're going to count the number of drops needed, uh, record that on the table for each juice, and then determine which juice has the most DC pip. So with the tests. Um, we're crying out will be for ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C, apple juice, blackcurrant juice, and orange juice. So here we have set up okay. we have set up our experiment. So we have ascorbic acid here, apple juice, blackcurrant juice, and orange juice. Now it probably doesn't do you any harm to try and predict which one you think is going to have the most vitamin C. Here we have our blue DC pip. Okay, it's a dark blue chemical which um, is used in this test. And already measured out, we have 2 centimeters cubed of DC pip. Now we already have three test tubes filled with DC pip. So we've just got one more to fill up. And then we can start our experiment. So for test tubes we choose one to start with, which is ascorbic acid. Um, as this is pure vitamin C, this is going to be our control in this experiment. So using our pipette, we're going to drop in one drop ascorbic acid and then shake. And we're going to continue until this becomes colourless. So after five drops, you can see there's still no change. I'm just going to pause the video now. I'm going to complete. Uh, each of these experiments and then we're going to look at the results. Okay, so I'm just continuing the video here. We've just done 18 drops and you can see it's almost colourless. So we'll go 19. And 20. And at 20 drops, you can see that that is now colourless, see through it. We're going to move on now to our next sample. So in our table, in our book, we will need to record that. Now I'll show you what the table should look like um, after we complete all of the tests. Um, it's very important also that we change pipette each time because we do not want to contaminate our sample. So I'm now just going to pick up our apple juice. I'm going to do the same thing. So I like to drop it in and I swirl it each time. So there's one, two, three and so on. So I'm just going to pause the video and then I will come back to you with the result. So here we have apple juice after 20 drops. So unlike the ascorbic acid it is not clear yet. So it's going to take a few more. And I've just added 40 drops to this and it has just gone now um, the colour of apple juice. So it's not clear this time. 
but it has returned to its original colours. If you look there, they're very similar in colour, slightly paler maybe. Um, this took 40 drops. Okay, so from that we can see that ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C, um, obviously has more vitamin C in it than apple juice. So the next one we're going to try now is blackcurrant juice. And before we uh, see the result, you may want to pause the video and think, which has more vitamin C in it? Apple juice or blackcurrant juice? Okay, so we're 29 and maybe one more, 30. After 30 drops, so maybe to your surprise actually, after 30 drops, blackcurrant has turned to the colour of the juice. Okay, so they're the same colour, blackcurrant. So that means we now only have one more. Okay, and a lot of people will actually associate orange juice with vitamin C. So will orange juice have as much vitamin C in it as blackcurrant juice, which had 30? So here we have orange juice after 55 drops, and you can see there it's still not orange, which might actually surprise some people. There's 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, getting close now, 65, 66, maybe one more, 67, 68, and at 68 that took, we now have an orange colour solution. Very similar to our orange juice. So that's our final result. Okay, so now um, you need to record your results in a table like this one here. So we've got two columns, one with our fruit juices on the left, and then obviously then the number of drops it contains. So I want you to go back in the video and fill in the numbers for each one. So for example, beside ascorbic acid, you're going to write in 20. And then you want to copy in the correct number for each apple juice, blackcurrant juice, and orange juice. And to summarize, if a sample, for example, one we didn't do was lemon juice, is added to a particular volume of DC pip, the less juice needed to de decolorize DC pip, the more vitamin C is present. So in our experiment, the ascorbic acid had the most vitamin C, and that should have been expected because it is pure vitamin C. So all vitamins and minerals are important for the body to work effectively. However, you especially need to learn about two minerals, calcium and iron, and two vitamins, C and D. So the two vitamins are vitamin C and vitamin D. Now, vitamin C is what we work with today. Now, if you don't have enough vitamin C in your diet, you suffer from a disease known as scurvy. Um, and that happens around your gums and on your skin. Um, if you're looking to get some vitamin C into your diet, you need to eat some fruits, uh, mostly citrus fruits such as oranges. Um, vitamin D is found in cod liver oil, egg yolks, and is formed in the skin if we're out in sunlight. And it prevents a disease known as rickets. So here we have an image of scurvy, and see here the gums have become inflamed, it's quite painful. And here we have quite a severe case of scurvy, and the skin of the lip is actually suffering here. Um, the gums can swell, lips can swell, it's very, very painful disease. So um, there's a good reason for us to make sure and get plenty of vitamin C into your diet. Rickets um, leads to deformed bones, which can curve. Uh, especially in our legs and our spine. Um, our legs carry most of our weight and that weight will actually cause our legs to bend if we do not have enough vitamin D. Iron is found in red meat and green veg and it makes uh, a pigment called hemoglobin which is very important for our blood to be able to carry oxygen. If we do not have enough iron we become anemic 
As you can tell, some of the mimic if they appeal and tired as one of the signs. Calcium is found in dairy products such as milk and cheese, and it actually works along with uh, vitamin D. So it is for healthy teeth and bones, and again, the def deficiency disease is rickets for that one. So at the bottom of your book, you'll see the table summarizes our vitamins and minerals, and there are some questions for you to answer. So fill in your table, answer the questions, and that is today's work. Well done.